Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Kim, also known as Pink Veil Box over on Instagram. So in today's video, we have a special guest. I'm bringing on my partner and we are filming My Boyfriend Does My Zara Haul, which should be super fun. So basically, we popped into Blue Water yesterday and did a spot of shopping. I left Mo in Zara to do his own thing. I have no expectations, but this should be a lot of fun. So really excited and can't wait to get stuck in. So let's go and do that now. Right guys, we're kind of finding it quite difficult to like find stuff. So this is the first thing that we picked up. This is kind of, I don't know, even know what to call it. Canvas type dress, nice for summer. Hopefully mummy will like it. Okay guys, I think we have a good selection here. I don't think I'm going to reveal it too much. But what do you think of the selection, Emmy? Good. Yeah? You think she'll like it? Yeah. Okay, cool. I think we're going to go to the till now and uh, we'll let you know what we've got. See you in a bit. Right, guys, we have secured the bag. Hopefully she likes it. What do you think of it, Emmy? You think it's some good items? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, let's get back to mummy and see how she feels. Hey guys, how's it going? Mo here, obviously. I do quite a bit of the editing on her channel, etc. Mo, aka the YouTube editor, the Instagram editor. He makes it all happen, basically. This is um, this is an exciting one for me, actually. So, so tell the guys and myself how your shopping experience was yesterday when I looked at uh, you. So yeah, it was. I'm not gonna lie, it was it was difficult at first, like walking to. The Zara, I was literally just like, oh man, this is going to be the longest process ever. However, I did have our little helper, Amelia, with me. Um, Who's our nine-year-old daughter. She was a second opinion for me. Uh -huh. So in that in that sense, it was like two of us helping out mummy. Pretty exciting. I was walking around the store quite a lot. Um, had to do two or three trips to and from. See if that's something that she would like. It was, diff into this, it was difficult. I'm hoping that you like it. So... So basically, should we bring out one outfit and then go through what you got, the size you got, how you yeah. wanted it to be styled and what you envisaged in your head? So guys, like this, bag, this is the say. bag here and this is, where, this is where all the magic is. So. Ah. This is in any order? This is the first one. Yeah. Okay, right. The first one Ooh, is, this, hey. is this kind of, I'm going to say like, what kind of material is this? Canvas of some sort? I don't know. It's linen. <laughs> okay. Okay, linen. Oh my god. Okay, Canvas. so this was $29.99. Oh, okay, I bought this in a medium. Okay. Um, it's got this sort of lacing at the back, straps. Okay. Uh, Great description. <laughs> yep, there is straps, lacing going here. Straps at the back here, strap detail, stitching along the bust, I'm gonna say. Okay. Does that make sense? Puffy shoulders as well. Puff sleeves, perfect, yeah. Yes. I decided to get this, not because I'm trying to play it safe or anything, but we are getting to that sort of summer season and kind of holiday season. And this is something I think you could wear if we were going on like a little city tour, city break. I actually love this. Um, a tick because I'm a neutral girl. It's really cute for summer. It's very on trend, in season. It's a bit risque with the lacing. Size medium is probably, I would say, right. You can actually lace it up at the back to tighten it. I'm really excited to try that on. Honorable mention as well. Amelia did help me with this one. I love it so, yeah. to start off with, but we will try this on and rate it and then you can maybe rate it as in what you think of it on afterwards. Okay, okay. cool. Right, on to outfit number two. So, what we've got here? So, outfit number two. Why are you two, laughing? I don't know, I just thought this one would be a little bit different for her because I'm sure she's got this. I'm not sure she has this in this colorway. Let's grab it. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so this is a. Oh, it's nice. It's quite a hot pink. I was quite bright, a highlighter pink. It's very simple, fitted, size small. 
And it's, it's busting out of it. <laughs> and it's twenty two ninety nine. The two buttons uh, undone at the very end. Very sexy. To go with this, I know it's quite a strong colour. Managed to tone it down a little bit with this white blazer. Oh, okay. Wear it over your shoulders. Gold button hardware details. And the lining is kind of satin on the inside. <laughs> Shoulder pad details. The 80s look. Structure. Arm length itself is kind of that three quarter length. You Miami. Didn't know it. Describe it. My <laughs> you have your own channel. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Miami Vice type look where you're yeah. like, you're putting the sleeves up, if yeah. that makes sense. You could put that on, if you did want to hide the curves, you could probably put that over the shoulders. Some coverage. I don't know, should we say subtly sort of medium look? Well, I think this is actually something I would wear. I don't normally reach for colours, but colours is really in the summer, it's very Jackman's vibes. I do like a knitted dress, so I think this would look fab on. Although I'm not sure a small would fit, but we'll see. It might be a bit too tight. You totally got it here with the blazer on the top. That's something I would totally wear. And normally I do roll up my sleeves, so this is quite nice because it's already three quarter legs. I just love it. I can't wait to try that on. I just well done. Like it tones down the brights. Yeah. Well done. We are on to outfit number... Number three. This particular one, this was kind of a decision between me and Emilia. Do you think Mummy would like this? I think she got something like that. Well, she's paying attention too. She watches the channel, so obviously uh, yeah, she's subscribed. She, <laughs> you she could do the same. <laughs> she said um, an example. Okay, let me grab it. Gone with this plain white, wide crew neck, very short, maybe above the belly button. Short sleeves, you can probably roll it up to give it more of a look. Wide along the bottom, good double stitching. I'm not sure if like that's something you'd wear. It's small, but oversized anyway, $11.99. And I wanted to pair it with some tan type trousers. Um, a gold button hardware detail, nice iron front <laughs> And at the back, Elasticated waistband. Waist 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 that's another thing that you can do. <laughs> you get married? I don't know. Okay. Button detail gives me very like Versace type vibes. Okay. Uh, double back pocket, obviously side pockets. A crop. This goes around your waist. Show a bit of mid drift. High waisted, you can probably tuck it in. Um, small. Well, do you know what? I actually love these trousers. Tailored trousers, but you can wear it casually, like so with a t-shirt. I love the gold buttons, and I think this is a great one. Actually, something I would pick up. You know, I love crop things, especially when things are like tight around the waist. You want to want to accentuate the waist. So something like this would go really well. So you done really, really good. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah. Right, guys, on to outfit number four. Number four. This was kind of like work cash. It is coming up to summer. You should be able to have a bit of work clothes, balance lifestyle. Okay, especially because I do work in the office still. But you still want to have a little bit of swag. Okay, Again, pop of colour. Green. <laughs> it's by you. Like a body con. Body suit, well done. Glitter. <laughs> 80s shoulder the pants. Yeah. You want to open your wardrobe and be like, oh, that's caught my eye. Mesh together by this single stick. The poppers, Please. if you want to go for it, <laughs> yeah. we? The shoulder pads part that okay, I think that drew, that's, drew that's, me yeah, to it. Yeah, and then the sleeveless arms because it's hot on the trains. And I've literally just paired it with these. Um, trousers, three quarter length, size small, thirty two ninety nine. Zip detail along the side, three quarter length, iron line comes in at the waist, flares towards the bottom. Easily wear this with some uh, pumps or some flat. Real simple with it, kind of just wear it like that. So you've got the detail in the shoulders, and you can wear them with heels as well. I think you've done a good job with the season, with the pop of colours. On trend. I do like these trousers actually, it's like perfect tailoring. It's nice and cropped so I'm not the tallest of people from day to night. So if you would go out for work drinks after work, uh, the two things would, this would be perfect. I've actually thought out quite a lot of types of outfits and different occasions for them, so I'm really surprised. Amelia again did help me. We were going to go with either green or blue. I don't think you have too much of blue Yeah, you're in right. Your Was it electric blue? When you try this on, hopefully it'll look good and you okay. can piece it all together. But Get yeah. that 80s vibes going on with the shit. Exactly. Yeah. 
Right, on to our final outfit of the day. You could go with something quite light, something bright, quite something quite holiday like. Go with something quite airy. The first thing I've got here is actually a Ooh. asymmetric. Oh, you got the word yes. asymmetric. Well done. This will go along the right hand side of the shoulder. I was umming and ahhing about going with a satin version or this type of knitted ribbed version, but I thought we have more things like this than satin. I think this is this <coughs> looks nice with summer roof lights. It's light and airy. It's a small. Okay. Seventeen ninety nine. It's got a nice little um, drop hem as well, so that's quite nice. Pair that with Ooh. this floral. Oh, no, sorry, it's a floral shorts. And I do know that you were looking for some type of shorts or skirt that was like this from another retailer. Um, Paying attention. Trying to, trying to emulate that same look. Got two pockets, marble button detail. Uh -huh. Inside is just lined with that same sort of, I don't know, what material is this? Linen. Off canvas, you see. 50% linen. Spring summer type colorway where you could wear it at the beginning of spring all the way up until the end of summer. If you wanted to, you could probably fold it inwards and make it a boob tube. <laughs> okay, just making it up. Now. <laughs> it's done really well. This is something I would actually pick up. I love the shape of it. It's like an like A-line shape, tying it at the waist and it goes out. So that's definitely something I would actually pick up for holiday. And again, this top, very nice. The fact that it's asymmetric just gives it that little edge. But yeah, I think it's a great pairing. You've done really well. I really <laughs> applaud him because he really thought of all the types of eventualities like work, holiday, and we've got a bit of everything like dresses, trousers. So let's get going and try them on. You know, I, I, I think you can also mix and match with some pieces you've got already. So that just ticks off the sustainability side as well. I'm worried that most of these I might be keeping rather than returning them. <laughs> which was the linen, or as Mo said it, the canvas dress. <laughs> and I don't know, what do you think guys? I absolutely love it. It's the perfect size actually in the medium because there's no stretch in it. And I just love everything about it. It's just a shape. Obviously white is perfect. I love white in summer. I think it's just so chic. I love the puff sleeves, a little ruching around the boobs. At the back, it's really nice. All this lacing details. It is short, but the right length of shortness and just for reference I am five foot two. I absolutely love this. Put some shoes on. I think yeah, so. Yeah, we're gonna shoot some shoes. These heels here, um, those okay. brown ones. So maybe you can chop those on. So I put my heels on here that you can see. And then accessory wise. We've got oh, bags to go with it. Here. I would say toiletry bag. Maybe. Okay, I think that's fine. I think you've done really well this outfit. I would probably pair it with these. The bag goes nice with it, just a nice touch of brown tones here, and I think I would give this outfit a 9 out of 10. I think you've done really, really well. I love it, I love the back of it. I actually think I'm going to have to keep this one. I'm going to What would you give it? I'm giving it 10 out of 10. I think I've done good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done good. But yeah, no, I actually, Amelia have done good. Let's see that. I like it a lot. I think it's, it's cool. really great. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. I love it. Right guys, on to outfit number two, and we've got our lovely knitted pink hot pink dress with the blazer on top, and I actually have to say, I like this as well. <laughs> I think we're in trouble here. I have to keep the whole shopping, but pink is something I don't normally wear, but actually with the jacket, it just flows really nicely. Like straight away, it brings your tan out. I think because it's like such a strong pink, and then you're wearing like pure white, your tan just comes out. So I think if you're on holiday, you just look like you're glowing. There's one thing about this dress though. I thought it was one that unbuttons all the way. The, the rest of the buttons are They're all, all stitched on. They're so, all sewed on, So you yeah. kind of have to like pull it over oh, your head. and then actually that's just part of the design then. Yeah, I think I would rate this outfit again a nine out of 10 because it's something that I would actually wear yeah. out. Shoes wise, I think I'll go with the, the ones with the transparent strap. Right guys, so I've got my shoes on which Mo's kindly picked out and these are from Zara. They're quite old but these are a goodie but an oldie. Um, I like this outfit, yeah. What accessory This time you know? round, teddy bear. It is a, it's actually <laughs> a teddy is it? um, clutch. Oh, that goes really well. You're doing very, very well. So proud of you. 
huge. I like this outfit. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments section below. But yeah, I love this one. Do you want to take it off? Looks good. Done. I've done good. You've done good. Well. So we have got outfit number three on and this is the beige trousers with the crop top. So, I mean, let's be real guys, like, as it stands, I'm gonna say it's kinda looks a bit basic. Not too much to it. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we do need to elevate the look a little, okay, a lot more. Elevate it. Keywords there. And then, <laughs> so I'm thinking um, we could do this one. So I'm gonna say Bottega Veneta sling backs. Okay. So let's try this. And then I think we're gonna go with the hat. Okay. What's it called? Fedora hat? Fedora, that's it. Accessories wise, we're gonna go with the classic. Okay. However, we're gonna go with the long strap, a cross body. A cross body, okay. So I'm thinking like, because um, of the gold button detail, the chain on the, cla the Chanel classic brings out the gold like necklace as well, the earrings, the hat. The whole color scheme kind of comes together. At the same time, I think we could have a contrast in the footwear. Oh yeah. And if we swap out the Bottegas for the Hermes Arans. Okay. Well, I think you've done actually really well with this. When I first tried it on with the trousers and the top, I wasn't sure about the top because it wasn't giving me that kind of the shape right. But now that we've got the Chanel over the top, it's kind of given shape around the waist. And actually, it's actually quite a nice casual look. I think the trousers are quite nice, although it's quite big for a small. But yeah, I think it works really well with the hat. Yeah, it works. I'm gonna say it's like safari stroke Jurassic Park yeah. chic. I would actually match it more with the Orans rather than um, the Bottegas, I think. I would give this one an 8 out of 10. Something I would definitely wear though, so 8 out of 10. Yeah. I think eight's fair. Maybe um, let's push it, eight and a half. Always pushing it. Yeah. Right, on to number, outfit number four. Oh. And this is my workwear outfit. I think this is actually something quite nice for the office actually. Trousers I actually love. It's a really good cropped and it's wide leg at the bottom. I think it's a really nice shape. In terms of the top, I like bodysuits but I'm not too sure if it suits my figure, the whole shoulder pads. But yeah, what did you say when you saw this? Leotard. Oh no. I was like, come on. This is another this great is outfit. Come on. But yeah, I, I have to agree, it is a great outfit. I'm not sure I'd wear the top personally. What would works. you pair it with on the foot? So on foot, I think you can go two ways. For work, I think you can go with the heels. And then, yeah, I think that looks really well, actually. I think this, again, the Chanel classic, but not with the long strap. You're just going to hold it. How, how do girls normally wear it? Yeah. Like this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. All the gold hardware that you're wearing and jewellery, it just goes together nicely. I would score this 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Really because the top, I probably wouldn't wear this top, but the rest of the outfit is brilliant. You've done really well here. Seven. Again. 7 to fail. No, it's not. 7, what, it's not even you, 3 quarters. What would you say? Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Too. I'm gonna say 10 out of 10, they're all 10 out of 10. I'm gonna say this is an 8 out of 10. Like, how does it feel on body though? Do you feel hot? I, th I think this material is quite hot. It's quite a hot day anyway, so we're really hot dressed at the moment. Mm. I'm 5'3", so I'm quite short in the torso, but I'm thinking if you're any taller, because it's got the poppers at the bottom, so if you're any taller, I guess that would be right. That'd be really like taunt, so just look to bit Yeah, I'll, I'll say an 8 and a half. Oh, did I say 8 or 8 and a half? I think so, eight. Let's go with 8 and a half. <laughs> Always pushing you. So this is the very final look and this is the summery shorts and a symmetric top here which actually works really well together. I think, yeah, I just think it's super clean. Nothing like too, too fancy. It gives me that kind of Mediterranean Sea type country having dinner at Golden Hour. I would totally wear this one on the days. What would you pair it with? I'm going to say, let's go with the shoes first. Okay. I think I'm going to go with the Arans. So Arans and, and hat. hat on. So I think the Louis okay. might work. I think, I think with the bag I might need something else in my collection. Mo mentioned earlier, pop of colour, right? I think the hat goes because it's neutral and the... Very well done! I think I'm ready for a holiday now. 
yeah, I can totally see myself wearing this and hopefully the British weather might get a bit hotter so maybe get a chance to wear it. But yeah, I, I love this. Just to note that this top is kind of see-through, so you've got to be really careful about what bra you wear. You can go braless. But yeah, it's a bit see-through. I would rate this one 9 out of 10. Um, proper holiday vibes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say nine and a half out of ten. I think the only thing that we would switch out is probably the handbag. Something... Maybe it, something it, white. Like something like poppy, like a Jacquemus. Or a, like an, a rattan bag, one of those knitted bags. Mm, what's that other one? Super. Prada. He's more than welcome to get me a Prada um, rattan knitted bag. Which probably smell like. Yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying this outfit. I think it's really cute and summery. Right guys, that brings us to the end of this video which I thoroughly enjoyed and had so much fun doing. Let me know if there's something you want to see more of in the future and we can definitely incorporate that. But yeah, special thank you to Mo and our special little helper Amelia for choosing these amazing outfits. Mo did a fabulous job, I'm so proud of him, he actually surpassed all my expectations. There's a lot of items here that I'd love to keep, so things that I would definitely keep are the white dress and the hot pink knit dress. Things I might take back is things like the white blazer, just because I've got so many of those on rotation in my wardrobe, so I don't need any more white blazers. But I've enjoyed doing this video. I will link all the outfits, of course, for you guys in the description box below. But if you'd like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff, that'd be much appreciated. And I'll see you hopefully in the next one. See you later. Until then.